Well, good day, folks. I have some terrific news to share with you. Very recently, folks, just a few days ago, we reached our 900 subscriber milestone. And because of that, folks, we are very, very pleased and very excited. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, you have embraced this channel and in just four short months, GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead has surpassed our 900 subscriber milestone and we are well on our way to 1,000 very, very soon. Betty and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate your support so much. Now folks, Betty and I like to spend time together at our fifth wheel camper and working on the old church. And we also like to spend time with you, our subscribers, those of you who have taken the time to subscribe to our channel and support what we are doing as we restore and renovate the old church into our retirement home and homestead. Thanks for being with us and coming along on this journey. And here's our latest project. We are working on our bathroom, folks. We have much work to do here, folks, and we are enjoying it every step of the way. Continue to join us, folks, as we endeavor to complete our bathroom. Watch this next clip. Okay, so what you are looking at here now, folks, is the current bathroom here at the old church. It just has a, a vanity and a toilet. And our toilet, of course, is hooked up to our sewer system that we installed last summer. And I'm going to be removing the wall that separates the current bathroom from the old furnace room, as there was a furnace in this building many years ago that was uh, taken out some time ago. And we're gonna be opening up these two rooms into a large bathroom. Now, I have already started to strip these walls off their aspenite or chipboard-like sheeting. And with the sheeting removed, I will begin the task of removing the studs and the wall that separates the current bathroom from the old furnace room. This old gray sheeting that you are looking at now will need to be removed. And this old white painted Aspenite sheeting will also need to be removed. And with any luck at all, ladies and gentlemen, I will get some of this work completed this weekend here at the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Please stay with us, folks, and continue to join us as we cycle through several video clips that we have taken over the last few days to bring to you, our subscribers. As you can see in this clip, the sheeting and the studs separating the current bathroom from the old furnace room has been removed. Folks, the wall framing and studs that you're looking at now would be considered load bearing and cannot be removed just yet. Okay, if you take a second and look up, I just finished stripping these ceilings of all the drip rock. Now there wasn't a lot. This is the only place in this church where there is drip rock and it's out here in the bathroom and in what was the main entrance or the porch area of the church. So now I have all the jip rock removed and thank goodness because Betty and I do not like jip rock. We don't want to have any in this building going forward. We will be going with natural wood everywhere throughout this building. No more jip rock. And I did manage to remove most of the jip rock in large pieces and half sheets, which is really, really good. And this will help with cleanup. And cleaning up as you go, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you do any renovation work is always, always important. And it is always important to thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us again. And thank you so very, very much for helping us reach our 900 subscriber milestone. This would never have been possible, ladies and gentlemen, without you supporting our channel. We are Gary Betty Leet, The Old Church, Five Acre Olmstead. Thank you, folks.